All right, so let's get to the relevant stuff, the stuff that's going to be in the homework. Well, first thing I want to do is connect functions with what we've been doing. Now, when we look at lines, y equals, say, you know, 5x minus 3. This is a perfectly good function between x values and y values because every x value is going to have one and only one y value associated to it. So lines are perfectly good functions. But we were also talking about just general equations. So something like you know, y squared equals x cubed minus 3x plus 1. This is a perfectly fine equation, and it does relate two variables together. It relates x and y together. Plug in a value of x, and there's an associated value of y. The trouble is, is that there's more than one value associated to y for almost every value of x that you could plug in here. For example, if we take the input x equals 0, in order for this to be a function, there's only one possible value of, that y could have. If y could have more than one value, this equation while perfectly fine, is not a function. So let's take a look at this. If we plug x equals 0 in, we get 0 cubed minus 3 times 0 plus 1. Well, 0 cubed is just 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So y squared could be 1. Well, I know one value that y could be, y could be 1. 1 squared is indeed 1. And if that's all there was, then I can't dismiss this as a function. The problem is, y could also be minus 1. Minus 1 squared is still 1. So the x value of 0 maps to two different y values. It maps to 1 and minus 1. So this is not a function. Lines, however, are functions and perfectly good functions. In fact, for the m almost the rest of this uh, course, we'll be focused on just functions. It's not that equations aren't important. You know, this particular equation is an example of an elliptic curve, um, which is used heavily in uh, cryptography, trying to make sure communications over the internet are secure and private. Elliptic curves are big in cryptography. This particular equation um, isn't very useful, but uh, it's an example of something that is used. For us, we're just going to be focused on functions and their roles. The only other thing I want to mention in this particular video is the idea of notation. If we look back at this function, I'm going to stop writing functions like this, y equals this. I'm going to start writing functions like this. And you'll see why in subsequent sections, 
there's really a lot more we can do with this notation than simply just x's and y's. We're trying to emphasize here that the value of f depends upon the value of x. So there's a couple weird things going on here. It looks like I'm saying f times x. That's not what I mean. We're kind of overloading this notation here of parentheses to mean f of x. That here's the particular value of f at the given value of x. So I could do things like, say, f of 3. What's the value of x? Uh, what's the value of f, rather, when x equals 3? So I plug in 3 in for x, and I get 15 minus 3, which is 12. But then I can also say f of 4. 5 times 4 minus 3, that's 20 minus 3, or 17. So I'm not saying, you know, y equals 12 and y equals 17. I'm really emphasizing this dependence upon when x is 3, this is the value of f. When x is 4, this is, this is the new value of f. So I'm really pushing this dependence, this relationship between two variables. The other thing I want to emphasize is this colon equals. I, I will use this to mean that the function f of x is defined to be blah, 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 whatever. In this case, 5x minus 3. So in other words, there's nothing to solve here. I'm just declaring, I'm giving a name to this expression. Whereas before, when we were dealing with y's, this statement's kind of ambiguous. Is this your answer? Are you supposed to solve for x, get x by itself? No. What's going on with this equal sign? Am I supposed to solve this? Do I leave it as it is? What's happening here? So with this colon equals, I'm trying to make this a bit more clear to say, don't solve anything here. Just take, whenever you see f of x, just take that to be shorthand for 5x minus 3.